BBC News with Tomaskin Debesai. Israel's Prime Minister has strongly reaffirmed his opposition to the creation of a Palestinian state when the war in Gaza is over. Benjamin Netanyahu said Israel must have security control of all territory west of the Jordan River. There has been a critical response from Washington. The United States says it's not at war with the Houthis in Yemen, despite increasing military exchanges in the Red Sea region. Earlier, the U.S. carried out a fifth round of airstrikes against the Houthis. Thousands of men have queued in northern India during a recruitment drive to send workers to Israel. The war with Hamas has caused a labour shortage. The authorities in Ecuador have detained two suspects accused of killing a leading prosecutor in the latest violence linked to criminal gangs. Cesar Suarez was investigating the assault last week by gunmen on a TV studio. The U.S. Attorney General says the police response to the deadly Uvalde school shooting in 2022 was a failure that shouldn't have happened. Mary Garland was speaking on the release of a highly critical official report. Nineteen children and two teachers were killed in the massacre in Texas. The U.S. Congress has passed a temporary spending bill averting a partial government shutdown which could have begun as soon as Saturday. The Republican House Speaker Mike Johnson relied heavily on the support of Democrats to pass the measure. Somalia has ruled out mediation with Ethiopia unless it cancels a controversial deal it recently made with the self-declared Republic of Somaliland. And the England footballer Jordan Henderson has joined the Dutch club Ajax only six months after signing for a Saudi club. He had moved to Al Ittifaq from Liverpool on a contract worth a reported $900,000 a week. BBC News.